Hello and welcome to the new video of Power BI beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to discuss uh, one power query function list.sum so let's go to Power BI and what we are going to do in Power BI is I'm going to create a um, new table which using the enter data and I'm going to um, enter some values out here and uh, uh, the thing which I'm going to do here is that um, I'm going to sum this up uh, uh, using the list.sum so we can sum up a column also using list.sum that we are going to do and one more thing which we are going to do is we are simply going to take a list static list and I'm also going to sum that up okay so let me call this as data 7 and let me say edit instead of load so so that I can directly reach to the edit query mode so I've reached edit query mode this is my data table 7 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one column custom column and let me say list sum and I'm going to use the function list dot sum I'm going to give a static list let's say 1 2 3 and 4 I'm giving a list inside the angular brackets I can give a list and I'm giving a list of numbers so that you know the list dot sum operation can work and then you can see I getting 10 10 10 because every row I'm going to the static list and that's how I'm going to get the number 10 10 10 so what I'm going to do next is that I want to sum this column up so I need the name of this column which is column 1 but I also need the uh, table name so I take the table name from the last step and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this setting I'm going to modify that I'm going to give let me first give you the column name and tell you that it's not going to work out it's going to give you give us an error so column 1 if I simply do it it's going to give us an error but now I'm going to do go and add the table name here and then I'm going to do it so I go I see the sum is 20 so I'm getting the sum of this particular column in the table and we are going to use this maybe we are when we are creating the other uh, uh, table uh, or when we need the grand total then we are going to use it so this is basically we are getting a grand total and you can create a percentage of total now how much percentage it contributes so I can create a new column now where I can say percent of total now percent of total and then I can say is basically you know column 1 divided by list sum so I'll get percentage of total so now I can get percentage total this is when we go to um, uh, DAX we can mark it as a or when we go to these uh, the, um, the visual studio or the when we close the power query we can mark it as a percentage column and then where we can get it is 100 part of 100 percent so or we can multiply it by 100 here now what uh, we can also do is let's say I want to sum only first three element of the list or last three element of the list something like that if you wanted to do that also we can achieve so let's say I want to only sum of the first three element in this list uh, okay uh, or I want to see some of the top three element say so first uh, list first three and then we are going to do max next three and then similar way you can try out last three so I can say list dot sum and then I again like list dot first n and then I'm going to get the table name and the column so I'm and then I'm not given the n here so let me give the n as 3 okay so first 3 I'm going to sum it up so first 3 is 2 3 and 5 that's going to give us 10 2 3 and 5 star first 10 3 now what happens if I want last 3 I can use last 10 3 what happen if I want max top 3 top 3 should get summed up let's say top 3 are 5 6 5 and 4 are top 3 so let's say if we want that so what we can do here is let's add another column and say sum top 3 okay and then what I'm going to do is list dot sum then list dot max list dot max n then I need to provide the list which is I'm, I'm going to provide the column and then I close okay so I have not given how many elements I want I want top 3 let's say so I'll get 15 here because 6 uh, and 5 6 and 5 11 plus 4 is 15 so I got a sum of 15 so in this way different combination so if you want to say so top 5 sum top 10 sum in power query that's pretty much easily possible now 
there is a repetition and you don't want to do that you have to find it out by trying it out uh, but uh, power query is going to give you that number of elements so i'm going to do three only if you have it's repeating also so you're going to be only three so in that manner you're going to ensure that only top three is coming only three is coming so go ahead and try these things out do let us know what else you want me to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you